Hi and welcome back to another video brought to you by Maths From Scratch. Now this video is Column Method Edition Level 4. So in Column Method Edition Level 4, what we're going to look at is what happens when we have a chain of numbers that we need to carry. So let's have a look at these two examples. So as was mentioned before, the only thing that's different in this level is that we're going to have a sequence now of numbers that need to be carried. So if we look at our first column on example number one, we have six plus nine, and that gives me an answer of 15. And so from what we've learned previously, we put a little one there, and then we write the five underneath the column in question. Now we move on to our second column. And so the best way to do this now is to add the column up first, and then as the last step, then you add the number that you're carrying on. So four plus six is 10, add that one gives me 11. And so you see now we've got a chain of carries. Move on to the last digit. 1 plus 2 is 3. Add that final one there. And so that gives me an answer of 415. If we move on to example number 2. So 2 plus 9 gives me an answer of 11. So we're carrying that one. Then move on to the second column. 6 plus 7. Well, that gives me an answer of 13. Then I need to add this one. It gives me an answer of 14. So then I'm writing me one there and writing the 4 underneath move on to the third column, so we're going to get a nice chain of carries. 3 plus 8, well that gives me 11, but then I need to add this 1, so then that gives me an answer of 12, carry me 1 again. And finally move on to the last column, 4 plus 1 is 5, add that 1 is 6. And so it pays not to rush these, so we can ensure that we get these right all the time. Okay, then I've got a third example for us to do. So 9 add 7 gives me an answer of 16. So I'm going to carry me 1 and then write the 6 underneath. Again, notice I'm leaving space between the columns. This is imperative because when these get complicated and there's lots of 1s to carry, it does become quite awkward to mark if these 1s are all over the place and, and your presentation is just a bit scratchy. It just becomes difficult. So anything that you can do to make an examiner's life easier is definitely worth doing. So then we're on our second column. So 2 plus 8 is 10. Then add that one gives me an 11, so I'm carrying the one again. Third column, 3 plus 9 is 12, but then add that one, that gives me 13. And then 4 plus 6 is 10, add that one is 11, and then as we saw from level 2, we then write the last digit underneath the invisible column. So that answers 11,316. And then example 4 for us now, so a slightly longer example, 9 plus 4, that gives me 13, carry the 1. Second column, 6 plus 9 is 15, then add this one gives me a 16. Third column, 4 plus 7 is 11, add that one is 12. Notice it's all nice and neat. 6 plus 8 is 14, add that one is 15. And then finally, my last column, 3 plus 9 is 12, add that one gives me 13. Now, there's no limit to how many carries you might need to do it all depends on your number so don't expect to just do it three times four times whatever it all depends on what numbers you've got so you might have to carry on every single column it might be the odd one or two it's entirely up to the number so it's completely kind of random so don't look for a pattern when there isn't one there so that's how we do a chain of carries i think it's all down to concentration mainly and making sure that you're dead systematic do the column first and then add the number that you've carried last and if you follow that system and practice using that system these won't become too much of an issue and you'll be able to whiz through these and become um, a column method ninja which I think we'll all agree is uh, it's quite good so I guess what it's practice question time have a go at those five pause the video grab a piece of paper try those and then I'll see you in a bit to go through the answers Okay, welcome back. Well done for having a go at those. So these are your quick answers for the practice questions. So the answer to question one was 580. Number two was 1,362. Number three was 14,316. Number four was 171,125. And then question five was 14,484,608. So that's a biggie. So those with a variety of columns that needed multiple carries there. So well done on those. If you've made a mistake, which is easy to do on these ones because of the multiple carrying that you might have to do, keep watching and I'll go through the answers with you. 
Okay then, so let's go through these questions one by one for a full answer walkthrough and answer these together. So if we start with question one then. Okay, so six add four gives me an answer of 10. Move on to my second column. Eight plus nine gives me an answer of 17. So then I need to add this one. So that gives me an answer of 18. And I move on to my last column. Three plus one is four. Add that final one there gives me a five. So the answer to question one is 580. Question number two then. So nine plus three is 12. Carry me one. Write me two underneath my first column. Nine plus six is 15. Add that one gives me 16. And then nine plus three gives me 12. Add that one there gives me 13. And then question number three. Eight plus eight, well that's 16. Carry me one. Six plus four is 10. Add that one there gives me 11. Three plus nine is 12. Add me one there is 13. And then four plus nine is 13. Add that one there and that gives me 14. Now question four. Nine plus six is 15. Four plus seven is 11. Add that one there is 12. Next column, six plus four is 10. Add that one, gives me 11. And so you see I'm using the same process every time. Column first, then I'm adding my carry. Two plus eight is 10. Add that one there is 11. And then eight plus eight is 16. Add that one there, gives me an answer of 17. And then finally, question five, the one in the millions there. So two plus six is eight, so no carrying. Eight plus two is 10, carry me one, write me zero underneath. Nine plus six is 15, add the one there is 16. Four plus nine is 13, add me one there is 14. And then three plus four is seven, add me one there is eight. Nine plus five gives me an answer of 14. And then nine plus four is 13, add the one there, is 14. So those are all those five questions fully answered for you there, showing how we approach these when there's lots of numbers that need carrying. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Math From Scratch. If it's been useful, like, share, etc, etc, etc. Thank you very much and uh, go ahead and watch Column Method Edition Level 5. Thanks for watching.